For the first play of the Michigan breakdown, we're going to go over a base splitbacks open ISO lead concept paired with a glance. And Michigan's offense coordinator Josh Gaddis is well known for attaching glance RPOs to a lot of run schemes. And you're going to see that a lot with this pro style spread. You're going to see how they're kind of spreading the football around a little bit more and utilizing RPOs in their traditional run-heavy offense. So right here, what you're going to get from the X receiver is just a more vertical, must outside release vertical, trying to get that corner to turn his hips and run with that player. Then on the backside, you're going to get a glance from the slot receiver right here. And then you're going to get a hitch that can convert into an inverse man press. So right here, that Z receiver is going to run a hitch if that corner's off. And if he's man pressed, he's going to run in. And that's really the RPO that Gaddis is trying to attack right here is a space RPO. Now, with this 20 personnel run game, we're really attacking that D gap defender right here. That extra player right here or the seventh defender. If he inserts into the run on this, you'll have this glance wide open with the leverage of this strong safety. If he backs up, then you have the numbers in the box to run the ball. Pre-snap, the quarterback's just going to assess the leverage of the vertical. Post-snap, he's going to read the space for the glance. Right here, how they're going to block this ISO is very similar to blocking inside zone, but reversed. The left tackle is going to inside drive the defensive end, while the left guard and center are going to combo the nose tackle up to the will linebacker. The right guard is going to inside drive this two-eye, not allowing him to cross over his face. He needs to pin this guy back. While the right tackle is going to man base the anchor, trying to drive him out. Now your H player is crucial in this, as he's going to come and block the Mike linebacker right here. Your running back is just going to follow that ISO lead player right there. So as we watch this, we have that vertical at the bottom right here. And then we have our glance by the number two. Just attacking this space right here. And then a hitch that can convert in versus a man press look. Right here you have six in the box, so you're good to go pre-snap with the run. You got your ISO lead on the mic, and then your offense line will be running their ISO blocks, and the running back will follow that lead right there. Depending on how you teach your RPOs, you're really attacking this D-gap defender right here. This safety is playing off. He's already out-leveraged himself from making the play on the glance. And this is what we consider a space RPO because you're attacking this space right here. So as this play goes, this player hesitates, and that hesitation is all you need. You know, you could argue that the quarterback could have pulled this and thrown this, and that would not have been a problem. He sees that pause there for a split second, so he's going to hand it off. Get a great ISO block, and that's really the read for the running back. With him pinning this guy in, he's going to come really tight off this block. He cannot expand out at all, or he will run himself into getting tackled. He wants to come right off that, knife it up, get whatever yards are there. Good job by the running back. So as we look at the blocking scheme here, you're going to have an inside drive by the left tackle. You're going to get a combo from the center and the left guard up to 22 here. You're going to get an inside drive from the left guard, and he really cannot allow this two-eye to cross his face. You're going to get a base block on the anchor here. And again, he's trying to get as much movement as possible. These two guys really kind of want to create this lane right here with their blocks, and that's crucial because you're running back fullback type player right here is going to block this Mike linebacker. And then your running back is going to follow this lead right here. As this guy pins him in, 
he needs to come right off that as tight as humanly possible. And you can see, I mean, this is a great job by both the fullback and the running back. Knife in it. The O-line did a good job of opening up a giant hole here and getting what you can get out of it. Wouldn't have argued with throwing this glance here, but they got a positive gain here and a good play. 